Good morning, it's Leah from Dr. Zone Special Healthy Tomorrow Foundation. It is day two of Let's Keep Moving campaign. Our alphabet activity challenge letter today is the letter B. If you watched yesterday's video, I said it was five letters. I made a mistake, I actually forgot the S at the end, so it is actually six letters. It's a big trending B word right now in our province, especially. Uh, we had some guesses, um, and they were right. It is the word blazes. Uh, so our Premier said last week, stay the blazes home. Huge trending phrase. Shirts are being made. I'm sure our cups, uh, coffee cups are being branded. Stay the blazes home. It's all over social media. So we thought we'd follow the trend and use blazes as our B word today. So it's a big, long phrase. 17 movements that we're doing today. 30 seconds on, 15 seconds off. We do encourage families to do a warm up before they do our challenge because this one, especially this one is a longer word, 17 movements. Uh, if you find the breaks are too short, pause the video, do longer rests because it is uh, kind of a higher cardio workout. Uh, so slow it down if you need to, uh, take breaks in between the 30 seconds. We're gonna start some music up. Uh, make sure you get the whole family up uh, and it's part of this, this whole challenge. It's not just for the kids, it's for the parents as well. Sky is here, she's going to join us, uh, so get your pets involved, um, and if you need to, like what? I said, just take your time, slow the movements down. So we're starting off with squat jumps, so with squat jumps, the whole point is to get your bum close, close as you can to parallel to the ground, and you're doing a little bit of a jump when you come up. If you find this is hurting your knees, don't go down this far. You can easily just do air squats, or uh, you could just do a smaller bend, and a little bit smaller of a jump. The rest of us, we're going all the way down. We're doing nice. our jump, for jump squats. Sky is here, she hasn't had her walk yet. So I'm sure she is gonna be part of the workout today. Burpees are our next one. Burpees are a full body movement. Uh, so if you find burpees hard, to go all the way down to the ground. Work. Just do high planks, and come back up. If you find going down to the ground, tough. For the rest of us, all the way down to the ground and coming up. <laughs> you can avoid your dog on your burpees. Like it's good. This guy has her pinky toy. Definitely looking for her exercise herself. Good job on the burpees, guys. All the way down. Yes. All the way up for burpees. Next one is just regular squats. So if you feel good, let's uh, push these out. Like I said, it is 17 letters. We're only on exercise number three. So you can easily start off slow. We don't want to burn up today. Let's just do some slower squats. And again, if you find these hard, shake them out, jump right back into it. And don't go down this far. If you find going down, it's hurting your knees. So the rest of us, Let's just keep up with these great air squats. Like I said, this is the cardio yes. workout today. So take your time. Pause if you find the rest going by too quickly. Next, we're going into step ups. So I have stairs here. Put some books against the wall. Go up on seats some furniture. And it's we're thinking about alternating our step ups. So you're not always going up on the same leg. If you find these really easy, you can do jump. Jump up and jump down. Jump up, step down. Or if you find me getting hard, just use some fast step ups on the one stair as opposed to using two of them. And like I said, the big thing is making sure you're alternating nice. legs going up and coming down. So those are step ups. Getting right back into burpees. Lots of T's in this. Uh, workout, so second round of burpees. Like I said, burpees are full body. We have lots of movements ahead of us. So take your time. Just do them one by one. And if you have to rest, take your rest. Or just do your high plank instead of going all the way down. Because burpees do definitely get your heart rate up. Great job. Walk on the ground, wide feet, I always say. Definitely help.
helps. Right. I'm getting back up from the burpees. I'm going to feet a little bit wider. Next up is our super person holds. Superman holds is on a poster. I switched it up to super person to include everybody. Work. So you're on the ground. You're thinking about arms up, legs up at the same time. If you find this is really too hard, think about just alternating opposite arm, opposite leg with these holds. The rest of us, if you can put your arms up, legs up for our super person holds, this is actually really great workout for developing core strength as well as back strength with our super person holds. Rest. There we go. Now we're into jumping jacks. Sky is bored. She is now taking Piki's forehead out. Let's go on our jumping Work. jacks. And again, this allows us to catch our breath coming off of those burpees with our jumping jacks. I always encourage people to have water close by so you can hydrate throughout this workout. It is actually another great day out there today. Open your window, let some air in so you, you don't get too overheated Press. from our workouts. Grab a drink of water if you have some water close by. Next we're going into bicycle. Won't it be great when we can get out and do some social Work. bicycling again? So you're on the ground with bicycle. You're thinking about pumping your legs as if you're riding the bike. If you don't want to put your upper body into it, you can just keep your upper body down, use your legs. If you want to bring some core into it, think about opposite arm to opposite knee for our bicycles. And again, take breaks as you need it if you find this is hurting Rest. your core muscles. Those are our bicycles. Ah, can't wait to get out get on the bike this summer. Don't even have to get up. V-ups are next. So with V-ups, you're thinking about arms up, legs up at the same time. The modification for this is just regular sit-ups. So for the rest of us, arms up at the same time as our legs. If you want it's too challenging, switch over and just do sit-ups. You are working the same core muscles if you want to switch over to sit-ups. If not, let's do our V-ups. Or some letter of the alphabet that kind of resembles a B. <laughs> they nice. started off with good Bs and then they progressed to some other weird letter. Next one, we're back to squats. Get on up. Trying to get Sky not to eat all, all of Piki's uh, forehead stuffing. So we're going what? back into squats. <sighs> Hopefully you're enjoying these workouts, guys. I actually really love making them. And Sky definitely looks forward to it every morning, knowing that she is going to be part of the workout. I actually made television yesterday when she was on CTV Morning Live Atlantic. So maybe I'll have to have a, her own Facebook page Rest. for being a famous dog. Okay, what's next? Lateral ski hops. So it basically means just hopping side to side. If you have something on the ground that you can put as something to jump Work. over, I'll use this remote. You can do your ski hops or something that you put on the ground. I would have used Sky's pinky toy, but then she would be, ah! then she would have been underneath my feet. Be careful you don't use something too breakable. Because like what I just did, I stomped on my remote. <laughs> Thank goodness I didn't break it. I'd have sad children if I broke the remote. Yes. And they actually had to get up and push the buttons on the television. Lateral ski hops. Next one coming up. Back to jumping jacks. This is a good one. Good place to catch your breath. Work. You can slow down the jumping jacks. Always good to make sure you're breathing. Bring your heart rate down as we do these workouts. And again, anytime, pause the video.
video. Take a longer break. Halfway through to 30 seconds. In the movement, stop and shake things out. And if you need a little bit of break, as you do our high energy, a little bit challenge workout. Yes. Good job. We are back to the dreaded squat jumps. These ones are challenging because they do burn your quad muscles. Our quad muscles are warming up. So these might be easier than our first round of squat jumps. But halfway through, if you're feeling the burn through your quads, shake those quads out. Don't go down as far if you don't want to. Or you don't even have to put the jump in, like I said on the first round. Because these are taxing on the old quad muscles. Ah, Rest. You can feel the smoke rising from my quad muscles on those. We're going back into our super person holds. Thank goodness we get to lie down on the mat for a few seconds before we start up our movements. Again, Work. full movement. Arms go out straight, legs go out straight, like you're trying to reach as far forward, stretch your legs as far back as you possibly can. Again, if you find these too hard on your back, think about just lifting one arm, one leg, one arm, one leg, and alternating that way. If you find having both arms and legs up a little bit too hard. Or just take breaks in between this movement. Ah. Rest. Super first and holds are done. We got three more. One that I always find so funny, and I love to see you guys at home, and what it looks like in your house doing these guys. Crab walk. Work. You actually do have the whole family up. Awesome to see you guys trying to maneuver crab walk around a small space you might be working in. If it is too challenging, stay in one spot and just do hip drives to the ceiling. Again, you are getting the same benefit of these guys as you would actually moving around with your crowd walk. Rest. Woo! Okay, two more. We'll see if Sky gets involved in this one. High knee jumps. I think next to squat jumps, this is the one that I find the most challenging because people call them tuck jumps. Again, Work. the real form is thinking about bringing those knees up and landing softly on the ground. For those people at home that have had children, doing those kind of movements, jumping on trampolines, can cause problems, if you know what I mean. So if you find these challenging, think about just doing some high knees as you go. Or if these aren't too bad, keep on. With your touch jumps. No mishaps. We are all good. Thank goodness there was only one set of those. Guys, we are on our last movement. Guys, excited. Jumping jacks. Work. Lots of jumping jacks in this workout. Woo! Really try to take some deep breaths as you do our jumping jacks. Get your heart rate down. Get your breathing regulated because we did awesome in this workout. Last little bit of jumping jacks. Woo! That's it, final push. Rest. Days of Lace is home. 17 movements we just did. Awesome. Give everybody a high five. Okay, Sky. Can you give me a paw? He's got a good paw. Paw? Give me a paw. Oh! High five from Sky. So make sure you give everybody encouragement that was in your house and that did it. If you remember that or anybody was on the coach watching you do this workout, make sure you get them up tomorrow for our C alphabet challenge letter. Uh, stay tuned for what that is. If you have time, do a little cool down, guys. Do some stretches if you can. Go outside and walk around your yard just to bring your heart rate down, bringing uh, your breathing down. Um, really, really great job today. Stay the blazes home. I love that. Anyway, until tomorrow, stay safe, be kind, reach out to friends and family online because that really does help me.
get through this time. Um, and let's just keep moving, guys. That's our campaign uh, slogan for the next, what now, 24 days after today. We will be bringing this to you every letter of the alphabet. Um, in the meantime, keep on getting your heart rate up throughout the day. This is a morning workout. If, uh, uh, if it's nice and it's safe, take your dog out for a walk in the neighborhood. Do something that gets your heart rate up again sometime through the day. Okay, until tomorrow, have fun.